following video, I will attempt to show you how to build a very inexpensive and useful clamping device to be used on your drill press. You can make this out of scraps in your shop at no cost to you. It can be made in about 15 minutes and I think you'll find many uses for it. It was used in my middle school wood shop for many, many years. So let's get on with the explanation. The materials you will need for this job are wood glue, two pieces of wood. Here I'm using six inch by eight inch pieces of maple. You can go larger depending on the size of your drill press. About seven screws and either here I have a metal rod or a small dowel or a small wooden knob. Your choice. On my first step I'm going to measure two and a half inches in from the side of the wood. None of these measurements are critical, but then I'm going to take a square and make a square line in two and a half inches from the side. My next step I'm going to take my straight edge and mark about a 30 degree angle from the top coming down to make a triangle on the wood. Now you can see I have my miter saw set at a 30 degree angle and cutting about 30 degrees. I'm trying to make this triangle out of this piece of wood. So I'll be setting it on here and coming down and I'm going to clamp this wood up so I can make a nice safe cut and come through. I have an issue here. My saw will not cut all the way through the end, so I'll probably have to attempt to flip it over and cut it from the other side. You can see now that I have my 30 degree angle cut at 30 degrees across here, but I did run into that issue. Notice my cut is not all the way through. What I really need is a radial arm saw that can come all the way through this. Not having that, what I'll go ahead and now do is make a 90 degree cut across here and I'll probably trim off the tail end of this wood to make this work for this project. So here I am. I have a 90 degree cut, a 30 degree angle cut, cut at also a 30 degree angle. This cost me some issues. As I said before, I had to lose a half an inch off the bottom. So I am smaller and more humble now, and I will proceed. I'm going to be drilling a one quarter inch hole that I can insert this metal rod into, and I'll be putting pilot holes in here to put screws through and in here to put screws through. I'll also use my wood glue to put underneath so I'm going to screw with wet glue right into there and not put any fasteners on this piece of material. So here you can see the pilot holes are completed. They have been countersunk on the top and my one quarter inch hole is drilled in the triangle part. Now for gluing and screwing. So here we are about 40 minutes into my 15 minute project. I forgot to account for the boo-boo factor. When you're um, putting screws into maple, make sure you're generous with the pilot holes in size. Now I'm going to take and tap my metal rod into this quarter inch hole. And you can see now I have a sliding surface. We're going to go ahead and put this on the drill press and show you how it can be used. You can see here I have these Irwin clamps on both sides. You can also use small C clamps or bolt it from below. And now this sliding triangle, I can set my piece of wood where I want it to be, slide that triangle in, and sometimes a little tap right here locks it even, even better. I'll turn on my power, get it right centered, and come down. And what's kind of nice is you can drill multiple holes in the same spot on a lot of pieces of wood by just making a mark here and sliding it into that mark each time. When you move it out, you can see it's kind of tight. It's hard to get it loose. I might have to tap it 
a little bit like that to break it loose. But then you can also use it, blow out the dust in there. You can set pieces of wood like this down, or you can get pieces that are taller like this and set them in there in numbers of different positions. And it locks it in good and tight. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching this and, and I wish you good luck with this project.